Welcome to The Anxious Morning, where each weekday morning we take a look at ideas, concepts, and lessons designed to help you understand and overcome your anxiety. For more information, visit us at theanxiousmorning.com. You may be asking yourself if I have lost my mind. Anyone who has read my books, listened to The Anxious Truth Podcast, or followed me on social media for even a short time knows that I never give symptom advice. So maybe this is a little bit of clickbait, or maybe it's not. Let's find out. Everyone starts the recovery journey by wanting to explain their anxiety symptoms and find ways to make them go away. How do I handle a racing heart? Does anyone know what's good for dizziness? Why do I feel like I can't breathe? How can I stop that feeling? This list is way longer, but you get the idea. Now pull up a chair and I will tell you how we overcome anxiety symptoms. Here's the magic bullet you've been hoping for all this time. I've just been hiding it from you until now. Ready? We overcome anxiety symptoms by not trying to overcome them. You're welcome. Okay, I'm being a bit silly, but really, that is what it comes down to. But let me flesh it out a little. Here's the sequence of events that we are after when it comes to making our symptoms go away. One, first, we learn to see them differently. Now, I know that you want to insist that your symptoms are horrible and unbearable, and you must run from them because they feel so scary. But step one in making them go away is to recognize that this insistence is not helping at all. It's hurting. Your anxiety symptoms are natural physiological responses to fear. No more and no less. They are not harmful or damaging. They are to be expected when you are frightened. If you're not okay with the statement, work on it until you are okay with it. Step two. Then we learn that we have to treat them differently by not treating them at all. All the time you spend trying to find specific instructions on how to manage or deal with symptoms is making things worse. You do not have to do that. You must start to treat your symptoms in a new way, which essentially means not treating them at all. Step three, then we learn that we don't have to fear them. When you accept that you must view symptoms in a new way, then you practice treating them in a new way by not treating them. You provide your brain with valuable experiences, not words, that it can use to learn that even when you don't try to save yourself, the scary thing never hurts you. Those experiences teach your brain, over time, that it does not have to sound the alarm when you feel things in your body. You learn that you do not have to fear your symptoms. Now, here's the part you're waiting for. Step four. Then they go away. This is the last step but it is not a step you take. It's just a happy byproduct of taking the first three steps described above. I cannot stress this enough. You cannot actively make your symptoms stop. You can only actively relate to them in a way that teaches you the lessons that are needed to enable them to stop. So if you want to jump right in to make it go away, stop, think, and return to step one. That's it. That's my top secret, extra, super special, supercharged tip for making your anxiety symptoms go away. Now, go start doing this. And before you respond with easier said than done, let me tell you preemptively that you are correct. Now, go do it anyway, because I know you can. And be patient with yourself while you do it, because it is hard, and it will take time and effort. Any questions? If you're enjoying The Anxious Morning and you'd like to get a copy of the podcast delivered into your email inbox every morning, visit theanxiousmorning.email and subscribe to the newsletter. If you're listening on Apple or iTunes, take a second and leave a five-star rating. Maybe write a small review. It really helps me out. And finally, if you find my work useful and you'd like to help keep it free of advertising and sponsorships, you can see all the ways to support the work at theanxioustruth.com support. Thanks so much.